Because today we're gonna talk about something. We're gonna talk about why you should use a chain at the end of your row versus not using a chain at the end of your row. So when we use chains at the end of our rows, it makes us happy because we end up with these nice, beautiful, straight edges, right? Which is what we wanna see. It makes our hearts happy. Um, when we don't use chains at the end of the row, we end up with these rounded edges, which just makes everything harder and more disastrous. So let's learn how to use a chain at the end of our row. So let's talk about making a chain at the end of our rows versus not making a chain at the end of our rows. I always opt to make a chain because it keeps your rows nice and straight. So let's just start out by chaining three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that should be good. Maybe we'll do a little more. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I've made 14 chains. Again, I'm gonna make one extra one because that's my chain that I want at the end to keep it straight. And then I'm gonna come through here and single, so one, two from the hook, and I'm just gonna single crochet all the way across. So I should have 14 single crochets when I'm done. So one, two, three, four, ah, five. Remember, when we're doing our bottom uh, row, we're working through these middle loops, not the back side or the proper side. We're working through the middle loops so that we can keep a straight edge at the bottom of our work. And we're just gonna keep going till we get to 14. And I'll do a couple rows where I show you the chain at the end and a couple rows where I show you a chain or a row without a chain. Okay, so we're almost to the end of our row here. Looks like we have two more. So we have our first row. There we go. Now, what I mean by adding a chain at the end of the row is you just chain one, that's it. Or sometimes it'll be two or three depending on what stitch you're using, but we're using a single crochet, so we're just gonna chain one. Then we're gonna flip our work over and we're gonna work in the same stitch that that chain is in because that'll prevent us from having a gap and you'll see when we do it without the chain, what I'm talking about. So now that we're out of our bottom row, we can work through the top two loops, the proper loops, to make our single crochets. And we should have 14 at the end of each row. We're not gonna count that first chain that we did as a stitch because it's just there to help us keep things even. Okay, so we've reached the end of our row again. We're gonna chain one, flip over, and then work in that same stitch right there. And you'll see that we will end up with straight lines at the end of our work, which is really nice because one, it helps you to see what row you're on and how many stitches you actually have. Cause as you get used to it and as you get going, you will kind of get in the habit of stopping counting your stitches because your rows will just be straight. So you'll know 
that you have the right amount of rows. Is it fun? So, if you see this, can you get this out? we have a nice straight edge. Can I get this in the ladder? Yes, and I have my helper here, Ruby. Okay, so let's do, let's not chain now, okay? So we've done two rows with a chain. We're not gonna chain. We're just gonna turn around, start our row. So we did two rows with a chain and we'll do two rows without a chain. All right, almost to the end of our row, one more. Okay, so now I'm not gonna chain and I'm gonna turn over. This makes our edges a lot more jagged. It doesn't leave you with a straight line on your edge, which gets really confusing, especially if you're making something where you're going to be piecing uh, separate parts together. Um, I mean, that might be a while if you're just starting out before you get to a project like that, but it makes it harder to keep your lines straight and your seams straight. So this is what happens as we stop using our chain. See how it's not squared off right there? Whereas down here, when we did our first two rows, it was squared off at the bottom. So if we continue to do that, it's gonna look like that on each side and it's gonna mess, up, mess us up. So that is why it is important to add a chain at the beginning of your row. And like I said, when you add a chain, especially in my patterns, flip over, you work in that first chain, that first stitch that has the chain. Some patterns will ask you to skip it and they will count this as the first stitch, but I've found that that doesn't help keep your work as even. It kind of makes the edges look messy. So I always work in the very first stitch um, as that first chain. So let's just do one. Oh, let's just do a single crochet here, right? So now I know I'm not gonna count this as a stitch because that's my edge. This is my stitch, but it's still in that first, that first spot where the chain was. So that's it for today, guys. Um, let me know in the comments what you would like to see next and please subscribe and share. Thanks, guys.